Hi, today I'm going to be talking through my drugstore makeup starter kit. I did a blog post a while ago called an introduction to makeup and this is quite similar to that but I've got a few different options for each category and it's pretty much just my favourite products from the high street so I've got loads to talk about. First up is foundation and I have two favourites. The first one is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation which is still quite a new launch and I really like this. It's a bit annoying that it doesn't come with a pump but it's a really nice lightweight um, foundation. It's really kind of light and dewy which is the sort of foundation I normally go for. It also has SPF 20 in it. I really like this foundation. I think Revlon did really well with this one. I also really like the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum, the Radiance Reveal which is the new one that I think they reformulated and they also put in new packaging. This one does come with a pump. I really like this one. This would be my favourite out of the two. They're quite similar, but because it's kind of quite a serum-y texture, I feel like it's really nice. It feels a bit like the YSL Le Tain Touche Clare foundation. I use my hands to blend this in, and I just really like it for a nice kind of summer, dewy finish, but still kind of gives good coverage. I don't like when foundations are too sheer, but I also don't like when they're heavy, so this is perfect. For concealer, I have one option, because I'm not a fan of the Collection 2000 Last Team Perfection concealer that everyone else is. I find it really cakey and drying on my skin. So the one that I've been enjoying recently is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I haven't actually tried the foundation um, to go alongside this, I really should. Let me know if you guys have or whether you like it or not. But the concealer is really nice. The shades are a little bit dodgy. The one I have, which is soft beige, is quite orange and quite peachy for me. But I can make it work. I just really like the texture. They're really easy to blend. They last well. Um, they don't look cakey or dry at all. They're really kind of moisturising. Um, and it comes with a little doe foot applicator as well, so I really like the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. For bronzer, I have one option. I found it really hard to find a good drugstore bronzer. I was trying a lot, but I do really like this one, which is the one I picked, and it's the Bourjois Bronzing Powder. It's the one that looks like chocolate, and apparently smells like chocolate, but I think it smells like plastic. Don't smell it, I wouldn't recommend it. But it's a really nice bronzer that comes in two shades. I got the lighter one. And this is really good. If you find that Nars Laguna is a little bit too orange for you, I think you'd like this one. It's quite similar to the Jouer bronzing powder. It's um, a bit lighter and softer, but also you can build it up and contour with it. I just think it's a really nice light bronzing powder. For blushes, I've got one powder and one cream. My favourite drugstore powder blusher, I've had this for years. It's from the Natural Collection, which is weird because I don't really buy anything from the Natural Collection. But their blushes are really good. This one is Peach Melba, but they've got loads of shades and they're all really nice kind of soft pink shades. I just think these are really good. They're really pigmented, they're really soft and easy to blend. And I'm a big fan of these blushes. I've had this one for ages. I should probably chuck it out and get a new one. But it's lasting really well. For cream blushes, I think you know what I'm going to say. And it's the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in Soft Pink. I absolutely love this blusher. Um, the packaging is awful, but the product inside is amazing. Really soft, easy to blend. It doesn't go too powdery when you put it on the skin. I really wasn't a fan of the new Bourjois cream blushes. I felt like as soon as you put them on your cheek they go really chalky and powdery and really hard to blend with your finger but this one's really easy to blend. It feels a little bit like a lip balm and because of that, because it's a little bit stickier, it lasts really well. If you do have slightly oilier skin you may want to get a powder and I always recommend getting a translucent powder because I feel like you can get the coverage from your foundation and concealer but if you then add on a coloured powder it can look a little bit heavy and cakey so I always go for translucent and use a powder just to make sure my makeup stays put and so I don't get shiny throughout the day. So the two that I'd recommend, um, the first one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I really like this, I've used it for years. This is the translucent one, or transparent they call it, in 001. Really nice powder, I haven't really got a bad thing to say about it. It doesn't look powdery at all when you put it on the skin. And the second one is, I think, slightly more expensive. It's the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. And these are really similar, just feel them in store and see which one you prefer. Um, this one may be slightly more finely milled, which means it kind of looks less powdery and it's kind of a bit of a softer powder. But they're both really nice. I really like this. This is the one I'm using at the moment. So now on to eyes. I've got cream shadow and I've got powder shadows. For the cream, you know which one I'm going to say. There's nothing better on the high street than this. And it's the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hour um, in On and On Bronze. I absolutely love this. I'd recommend it to everybody comes in a little pot, it's a nice bronzy colour, you can use your finger to apply it and put on a really sheer wash of colour or you can just keep packing it on, build it up to a really kind of deep bronzy colour and because it's cream it lasts really well and you can use it as a base under eyeshadows or on its own, it's a really versatile product and I absolutely love these. For powder I have two palettes that I found, I was on the hunt for the best palettes and I couldn't pick between these two, I really like them both. First one is from Soap and Glory and it's Lid Stuff. 
This isn't that affordable, it's about £10, it's quite expensive for the drugstore, but it comes with four really nice shades. It's one of those palettes that you know you'll wear all the colours inside. So these are the four colours, you get a dark matte brown, a light highlighting colour, a kind of peachy all over the lid colour, and then a shimmery taupey bronze, and I think these are all really nice. They can get a little bit chalky, you kind of have to play around with it, but I really like them and I think the shade selection is just perfect. I've also got this one from Revlon which is called Naturally Glamorous 020, and these are kind of funny shaped palettes, they open to the side, but I looked at this and then when I swatched them in the store I was blown away. They're really creamy and buttery, they're less chalky than the Soap and Glory. I do think the texture of these is better but I just really like the colour selection in the Soap and Glory one so I wanted to put them both in. But in this one you get five colours. You get a few different bronzy shades, a more orangey one, a more brown one and a more shimmery one. You get a really nice light highlighter colour in the middle and then a really kind of deep dark brown that you can use on that outer corner and blend it in. I think this palette would create the best brown smoky eye and as I said the quality of the eyeshadows are amazing. This is really good for travelling, I'm definitely going to take this one away with me, I really like it. For eyeliners I've got a couple of options. If you like black liquid eyeliner I definitely recommend the Soap and Glory Super Cat Liner. I've been using this for years, I haven't actually worn black liquid eyeliner for ages but when I did I always use this one. It's got a kind of felt tip applicator and it's not too long and it's not too short. It's really easy to control the line and once it's on it lasts all day but it's also not too hard to remove. It's just perfect. It's really black black. I like this. And for kind of normal eyeliner there are a few. I do like the Rimmel Scandal Eyes, the original ones, but I thought I'd pick these ones which are the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Pencil because with these you can just do a line on the top of your eye but you can also use these as cream shadows um, so they're kind of really versatile. The two that I really like are Bad Girl Bronze which is a really nice bronze shade and Bulletproof Beige which is a really nice champagne colour that you can use in the inner corner of your eye or as a highlighter. I just think these are really good because you can use them in so many different ways and they're really affordable. For mascara, there's only one that I really like. I'm quite picky with my mascaras. I have quite naturally curly long lashes. I think mascara is a really personal thing, so if you're going to make your own little starter kit, just pick the one that you like really, because I know everyone likes different ones. But a drugstore mascara that I've been loving recently is the Maybelline The Rocket. And I didn't think I would, I didn't rush out and buy this as soon as it came out, but for this video I was testing loads of products and this one really jumped out at me. I've been using it for weeks, I'm using it today, I really love it, I just feel like it makes your lashes go really long and gives them loads of volume really easily without much effort. It actually has one of those plasticky brushes that I don't normally like but it grips the lashes really well and I've really been enjoying using this. For lips I have a kind of lipstick and a lip gloss. If you're a lip gloss kind of girl I definitely recommend the Rimmel Vinyl Gloss. These are really non-sticky. I don't know about you guys but I only wear lip gloss if it's not sticky because otherwise it drives you mad, your hair gets blown into your lips and your lips get all sticky and it's a nightmare. So I went around like swatching all the lip glosses a while ago and this one was pretty much the only one that isn't sticky. I do like the Barry M ones as well but the smell is a bit sickly for me. So yeah I really like this one and this is in the colour Be Famous which is a really pretty coral. And then for lipstick you know what I'm going to say and it's the Revlon Lip Butters. I love these because they come in so many shades, you can either get a really bright one like Wild Watermelon which is like a really bright raspberry red or you can get an everyday natural colour like Berry Smoothie which is one of my favourites and you can just wear this as a kind of tinted lip balm. So whether you're a lipstick person or a tinted lip balm person you can kind of find a shade to suit you. They're really moisturising and easy to wear and I absolutely love these. Finally if you're looking for some high street brushes the ones I definitely recommend are the Real Techniques brushes. I love these, they're made by Samantha Chapman from Pixie Woo. Um, my favourites are the blusher brush that I use for bronzer the buffing brush I use for foundation and the setting brush I use for concealer. I haven't tried the new ones yet, I'm definitely going to, but I really, really love these. I think something they're missing though is the sort of eye brushes. The face brushes are amazing. I haven't actually tried the eye brushes, but the set that it comes in, they don't really look like the sort of brushes that I use. So one that I definitely recommend if you are looking for an eye brush is the number seven eyeshadow blend and contour brush and this is pretty much a dupe for the MAC 217 and it's really affordable. I really like this brush, it's in a small kind of travel size and yeah it's pretty much exactly the same as the 217 and it washes really well, it's really soft, they just gave it a little wash now. Um, so yeah these are really good, I really like these as a 217 dupe. So that's everything from my drugstore makeup starter kit, I hope you enjoyed seeing all my favourite products from the high street. I really enjoyed kind of testing them out and finding my favourites, most of them I knew already but I had to go on a hunt for 
the bronzing powder and some eyeshadow palettes as well and I really enjoyed it and I found some amazing products that I know I'm going to use for a long time. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you also liked it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hi, today I'm going to film my June favourites video but before I start I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your nice comments on the video.